of Kieran Mina, I'm the manager here in Dromore. At the end of the day, it's all about your, your game plan and what you're, what's important to you. So our stats are very specific and uh, because we've made our stats specific and the person who does our uh, stats at the game, um, they are able then to uh, tag during the game, which means then that our edit and after is already up and running even before we start to edit, if that makes sense. Um, uh, that, that means that it's, 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 it's easy to it's easy to, to use from game to game. The better the person gets at his tagging, then the quicker it is for us to edit. It's all about speed and it's all about getting it back to the players ASAP. Uh, the players reacted to it positively. We can see online there how many of them have watched it, who have watched their own individual clips, and then how many has watched the entire game. So it's a great means for us of tracking um, players' own learning and how uh, willing they are to, to, to learn what, what we're trying to do. You know, we feel that what you do in the training field is important, but um, it's hard to stop things during training. You don't want to be stopping and talking too much during training. Um, it's hard to explain maybe in words sometimes in the dressing room after. But when you're able to show it to a group collectively, um, well then there's no hiding place as such. It's all about accountability. And when the players then are able to watch their own clips individually before that, well then if they're a reflective practitioner themselves, they're able to um, improve in their own performance as a result. You watch the game and you think you know, you've know you seen certain things, but when you watch the video of the game, you see an entirely different game and then you watch it again and again. And you know, it's, it's, uh, it's absolutely critical. Like it's, there's, I think if you don't do, your, don't do your video work, where's the real learning and where's the real accountability? Like? Uh, name's Martin Boyle, um, assistant manager to Kieran, and um, we'll be in charge of the video analysis. On, on um, match days, uh, there's one of the management team who uses the iPad to tag live during, uh, during matches, and at half time, uh, also in his job is he takes live stats off at half time, gets them written up on a whiteboard. Um, key stats that we've identified that the players know that we work on at training. And then after, after the match, obviously get the DVD uploaded onto the site uh, as soon as possible. Get it out to the players, get it, get it synced uh, with the live tags and get it out to the players and begin the, the process of interacting with the players. We pick out, you know, times we pick out different, different clips throughout the match. Um, and uh, interact with players through, through comments, get a bit of a forum going on different situations that arose during the match. We try to re relate everything, well the main purpose of it is we try to relate everything back to you know, what, what the system and, and, and the way we want to play and the, the KPIs, you know, so that everybody's talking of the same, you know, in the same language and of the same hump sheet. And so these, it's easier for the players because that's what we're saying at training and they're getting video clips off it, whether it's good practice or if it's, or if it's things that they're not doing well that they need to improve on. So the, the players seem to enjoy it so far. You know, they're very, very hungry for, for the videos of themselves and obviously, but the key thing about it that we're finding too is they're not only they're watching their own clips, they're, they're watching the whole game. Very, very efficient and user-friendly and definitely player-friendly. Now I've used um, different video analysis um, software in the past and I, I would definitely find Performa the best and the most, the most efficient for your time because video analysis come back through the DVD, watching the game maybe, because you need to watch a game two or three times before you see, you know, you see the things that you want to see and um, maybe things you miss after the first two times. So um, for Performa, because it's tagged for you there and then, you just have to sync the game and you see through your KPIs, you see exactly, you can break it down through the filter and see exactly what you're looking for. Um, also, really, really love the, the post-game analysis section because each week we would do, every Friday night, we would do a, a, a team, a group video analysis session where we would look at, again, different clips that are related to how we want to play and what we're trying to achieve. And um, it's very, very user-friendly, you know, just to work through the filter and really love the the, the five-second rewind, five-second forward, the pause and the slow-mo, really, really great addition to it. It's, it's so much more helpful for the likes of myself because obviously in this job times times of the essence and you don't have a lot of time and you want to get one game up and worked on and given out to the boys because the next game's just around the corner. Through the forum you can see that players are watching first of all and that's the key thing that they're watching and they're watching their own clips and you can see from the questions that maybe we would throw up on the forums and, and players are interacting with it and um, you know through the responses you can see that they're thinking 
and through our responses and through co the coaching sessions, because ultimately that's where we bring everything back to the coaching session, be it small set of games, condition games, you know, and you can see, definitely see through different things which we're trying to preach that the players are learning, and that's all down to performing in our, in our opinion, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, the, 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 the group analysis sessions, like, our style would be that it's not a dictatorship that we talk, you listen, it's very much a forum and we encourage the players to, to open up and chat and get involved in everything when, when we'd throw up a clip and, and let them chat about it and the floor is open and, and they do have a good chat about it and players have different opinions which is great which is what we want you know what I mean but the key thing about it is you know they're watching what's going on and they're learning as I said it's very very user friendly and efficient and the fact that it's on an iPad and it's portable and you're not carrying a laptop about you all the time and having to get it plugged in it's um, it's so 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 handy and as I said I particularly love the post game analysis session um, our feature on it um, with the slow mo it's really really helpful because it's a key thing whenever you know you're trying to show clips and you're because the clips over before some players recognise what's happened so if you slow it down um, the players can see the move developing and you can pause it. you can ask players you know what do you think's going to happen and what should be happening where where should you be that sort of stuff so and the big thing we can see here is that the, the players really have a thirst for for wanting to learn, which is, you know, when, when, when players are they're very serious about their sport and very serious about their football, and when, when players are like that there, you want to try and help them along the way and perform a ticks every box for that.